Hi, welcome to the Active Value Investor channel. My name is Victor. In this video, I'm going to cover the company by the name of Dow. This is a materials and chemical company that produces a lot of the materials that end up in the products that we use every day. Let me take a close look at this company, analyze it, and determine if I should buy additional shares, hold, or sell my shares in this company. I like to scorecard my investments, and it includes four questions that lead to a decision. Do I want to be a part of this industry? Is the company operated and performing well? Is debt less than three times EBITDA? I want a discount on the stock. Based on those four questions, I determine if I should buy additional shares, hold, or sell. Dow operates in three categories. They produce the materials that go into packaging and spe specialty plastics. So when you're walking through the grocery store and you see a lot of packaging, Dow materials may be in that particular product. Or they also provide performance materials and coatings. So when you see that really cool car driving down the road, that may be a Dow material that you're looking at. Last, you may look at a building and be impressed of how high tech it is. Well, some of the Dow products may be in that building because they also manufacture industrial products that are used for building materials. Over the last five years, the Dow stocks kind of moved sideways. It's up 19%. They also pay close to a 5% dividend. So you'd be up 19% uh, and you would have received a nice dividend each year. Over the last 12 months, uh, it's up about 2.5% not breaking any records, but 2022 was a fairly brutal year for growth stocks. So I think 2.5% uh, is pretty good for the last 12 months. How much is this company worth? I like to value companies based on their cash flows, discounting all the expected cash flows in the future to today's value. And the expected cash flows for 2022 are $5.5 billion. That's my starting point. I took the first three quarters of 2022 that are closed and reported, annualized that number to arrive at this figure. I'm using a 2% growth rate, both for short term and the perpetual growth in this model. I'm using a 10.8% uh, uh, weighted average cost of capital that I got from Finbox for Dow. Using that criteria, my model comes back with a value of $58.9 billion for this company, but their market cap is $40.8 billion. Therefore, it offers a 44% discount on this stock. The debt to EBITDA ratio is excellent at 1.89, well below the 3, 3x uh, EBITDA that I want to see in debt. So reviewing this company, I like that they're growing the revenues 11%. In Q3 year to date, revenue increase, which is good. Really low PE is 7.5. It produced great free cash flow. In fact, it's a 14% yield if you compare the free cash flow to their market cap. Really nice dividend of 4.8%. And they have been repurchasing shares, therefore, making each share that uh, I have a little more valuable. The guidance for 2023 the CEO believes it's, there's a lot of resilience in the market here in the US. And remember that China was on lockdown. So I think they're going to start consuming a lot of the materials that Dow produces. So I expect that 2023 is a profitable year. They're going to grow. Um, outlook beyond that, I think that there is upside in this stock, but not tremendous upside. And it's a good dividend stock. I also continue to believe that there's pent up demand for products, especially products that have been uh, you know, uh, involved with the supply chain issues where there's a lot of demand, for example, for cars, new cars and electric cars. So looking at the scorecard for this company, is this an industry I want to be a part of? Yes. I like the materials industry. It's profitable. It generates free cash and pays a really nice dividend. This company is a very well-run company. The debt is less than three times EBITDA by a margin. They get an A plus in this category. And you're getting a discount on the stock. Therefore, I'm going to be adding shares to my position of Dow. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it interesting and found uh, a few things uh, interesting about Dow. I really appreciate it. Please keep in mind, I'm not recommending you buy Dow stock. I'm just sharing my experience as a small investor in Dow. Good luck investing in 2023.